Harry Hook is definitely the eye candy of Descendants, but just how much do you know about him? From having siblings to actually having an American accent, we'll show you some facts you never knew about everyone's favorite Descendants pirate. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to never miss another video, and be sure to check out our community section for even more fun. Now let's check out the backstory behind Harry Hook. Harry Hook in the movie. As it turns out, Harry Hook in the movie and Harry Hook from the books aren't really the same people. Well, they are, but a lot of his backstory is actually lost along the way in order to stick to the most important bits. Let's start with checking out what Harry Hook was presented in the movies and then we'll continue with the books. Harry Hook, just like his last name might suggest, is actually Captain Hook's son. He's got quite an agenda to him and he definitely isn't afraid to snatch someone with his hook, which in case you didn't know is totally fake and just a homage to his father. Harry is quite a layered character, coming with tons of personality despite the fact that it might not be the most positive one. We're introduced to Harry as a manipulative and slightly wild kid, but as loyal as a pirate can be. He belongs to Uma's gang and he's extremely proud and protective of his friends. We also learn that there might be some backstory to Harry and Mal's relationship, which was actually created by the cast themselves. Dove Cameron and Thomas Doherty actually actually created a backstory you won't find in either books or the movies. It helps them develop on-screen chemistry, but as far as we know, the backstory is something you'll probably never see play out. Harry actually dated Mal before Mal dated Ben. She was his first love, and they were both attracted to each other because, well, they were both rotten to the core. Dove said that they were kind of like Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder in the sense that they were madly in love. They even got secret hook tattoos no one knows about, and then Mal broke Harry heart, which made Harry even more mean and more out of control. Speaking of control, did you know that Harry was originally supposed to have an American accent, but Thomas Doherty rejected it and went with a Scottish accent instead. This takeover totally earned him his role in the movie, and we're so glad he did it. We don't know much about Harry's relationship with his father or his mother, at least not from the movies, but we do know that the Hook pays homage to the one and only Captain Hook, so we can only assume Harry and his father were fairly close. Unlike other villains, Harry also doesn't possess any typical magical powers. Instead, he seems to be very skilled at things that relate to him being a pirate, which is totally understandable considering that's pretty much all he knows. As he's pretty much born and raised as a pirate, Harry is skilled in fencing, and he's also shown he's able to totally find his way when it comes to navigation. And all those things definitely come in handy when you're in combat mode with the rest of his pirate crew. We're hoping that the third movie will give us some more insight into Harry Hook and his past life. But if it doesn't, we have the books that have definitely done so. Harry Hook in the books. You see, we do find out a bit more about Harry Hook from the actual Descendants books, so if you've never read them, you should give them a shot. In the novels, Harry actually has siblings. He's the middle child and has an older sister called Harriet and a younger sister named CJ. Yep, that's right. According to the books, Harriet can be quite mean-spirited, but not much more is revealed about their relationship. Although we have a feeling there's a reason why Harry has such tough skin and Harriet might be it. How crazy is this? You know how we said Mal and Harry were actually once lovers? Well, this didn't happen in the books either. It's a brand new story invented by the actors to help them stay in their characters and have some chemistry, but the one person Harry is loyal to at all times is without a doubt Uma. Even in the books, it's very clear that their friendship is extremely strong, but it seems like that the books hint at a possibility of a romance. Although the movies show a strong chemistry between Uma and Harry, it's clear the two are just friends. But the books and many other fan fictions show a slightly different story. In Rise of the Isle of the Lost, a Descendants novel, Harry teased Uma that he could be her first date if she's lucky. Now we might not get more information than this, but it definitely makes our imagination go wild. These two aren't really a couple, not even in the books, but there's definitely Definitely some subtle teasing going on really makes you realize that Harry Hook isn't only wild, but he's also a flirt. Despite the fact that Descendants books are much longer, we actually don't learn a lot more about Harry. And if you do, you have to search for subtle hints that aren't longer than a single line. This mysterious, charming character is definitely an upgrade from his father's while still maintaining that pirate attitude we love. Speaking of his father, there's another moment that hints at the important relationship between Harry and his dad. In Rise of the 
Isle of the Lost, we learn that Harry is actually quite daring. Seriously, he tried to entice TikTok to bite his hand so he could actually wear a real hook, just like his father. The crocodile really wasn't into it and just went back to sleep. Yep, that's right. Even the crocodile knew this idea was totally stupid, which is exactly why Harry's hook is fake. But it also shows how much Harry actually admires his father. Unlike other villain parents, it seems that these two had a much better relationship. Of course, we have a feeling his story is probably much more intense than any other kid's villain story. We just really hope we'll finally learn the real truth about Harry Hook and his backstory. Do you like Harry Hook? Come let us know in the comments. And that's it for our video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.